So it is the next day. I backed the car out of the garage just to give us a little bit more room. Um, my dad has to do some work in here as well. Um, but where we stopped at with the air box uh, was all of these plates are welded here. Uh, I think today's goal is to just get um, the other walls uh, made for the box. And um, I think that is basically it on the box portion and then we'll have to just make the intake scoop uh, for uh, in the front of the car. guys so I didn't uh, really update you too much today uh, you guys understand that I'm making just like an air intake box so you don't need to see every step um, so this is what I have so far and then the air filter will just sit in there like this uh, we got the walls up uh, everywhere um, they're starting to get notched so the hood does not hit um, and it's actually pretty close I kind of just eyeballed this and I'm actually surprised that it works out as well as it does um, so this is basically what it is going to look like I'm not going to put a side wall just because the hood strut has to come down and it'll just be a little bit too much uh, work for it but everything is pretty close to being sealed off on the hood and then I'm going to add like a rubber gasketing uh, to the top so it does create like a seal on the hood um, and then it's just up to making that intake duct that just feeds um, some cold air into uh, this area so everything is actually coming along really well and yeah I should hopefully be done uh, by the end of this weekend with this project so um, I just have to clean everything up paint it uh, I'm gonna use like the same color that my intercooler pipes are so it'll be like that gunmetal gray a uh, really nice looking paint and everything will be super clean in there um, and grind down some of the welds and the excess metal and stuff like that just to kind of clean it up and make it look nice but overall it's looking pretty good okay guys so it has been a long day of work um, it doesn't look like I've done too much on this but uh, I actually went ahead and got everything kind of fitting in the engine bay uh, so this just needs to be brought down just a couple of millimeters on the top um, this one also just a little bit on the top and the hood basically closes um, so that is good news and uh, it looks to be good in that department uh, I also did start to make the intake scoop piece uh, so right here this fits down in underneath and then it brings the air um, it is kind of small down here but I did want to keep like the air velocity up uh, so it's just gonna be pushing like a small steady beam rather than just like a big wide beam of just I don't know uh, I think that'll work the most and I'm kind of gonna direct it along uh, this bottom piece and it'll just fill up this entire area with cooler air um, I think the most important point of this system is just to get um, clean air going into the air filter instead of just using the air that is radiating off of the engine just to um, power the car. I am the most stuck that I have been um, in a long time since like school, math class. Um, this is so difficult to figure out, um, but I did get the inlet here, so everything is in. Uh, it's got a little scoop in there as well, so it makes it a really wide mouth and then it narrows down into like this three quarter inch uh, thick piece and then uh, just has this shape. Uh, so like I said, I just tacked it on the inside. Uh, you can see all the little, uh, little penetration marks where I tacked it. Um, this part is not attached. Um, this piece has like an extra flap that kind of connects with it so it allows me to just slide it into place um, and then these two flaps just slide above uh, this piece here um, and it is resting just 
on the battery just with this little tab that I welded on. Um, but I'm having trouble figuring out how to get this to go in because there's no room here to do this. So um, I might just be having to resort to like a plastic flexible tube or something that just attaches to it even though I don't want to just because it'll look stupid uh, with like metal uh, it'll be painted um, but like metal pieces um, and then just like a flexible tube uh, leading to the air box here but it is coming along for the most part uh, so I just have to figure out how to get this uh, piece to go inside and stay inside and not interfere with any of the wires underneath or the frame or uh, fender piece here. Uh, so that is where I am so far. I finally got it all figured out. Um, it's not all the way done. Uh, we just have one more piece to make, but um, these two pieces have to get slid into each other. I had to cut this one just a little bit shorter, um, slide the elbow piece in and it fits in uh, to this piece pretty nice, uh, minus it created a gap uh, right here, so that's the downside to that, but I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, so this is what it looks like. It comes through this air duct here. Uh, you can't really see in there, but it's in there, um, so I'm reaching into it right now, uh, and funnels down into this pipe right here, makes the turn and then it's gonna go up and then I'm gonna make one more like 45 degree angle turn just blowing the air uh, to the bottom of the filter there we're coming along and I think physically this whole system will be done by the end of the day um, we just won't have it painted and we still need the rubber gasket stuff so cool okay guys so I finally finished uh, well I finished the first phase of the project, I guess. Um, so I kind of just created like a prototype. I mean, this is what I'm gonna be using, but I still have to finalize some things, uh, make it so it's more solid, um, and so it works a little bit better than it will. Uh, but here is what I came up with. So this is the air box piece that I was talking about. Um, we've got sidewall, this goes where the blow off valve is, um, a little front wall area, um, the back wall and it is cut to accommodate the hood strut there um, and then um, kind of like a tray design just so we have a little bit more room to set a filter inside of there um, everything is notched to fit underneath the hood um, I just need the rubber gasketing material just to seal it to the roof of the hood or bottom of the hood whatever um, so that is basically done just have to paint it um, maybe clean up some edges and make sure everything's nice and smooth so it doesn't cut any wires or anything. Um, and then here is the air intake portion of it. Um, this part is basically like 99% of the way done. Um, I still have to make uh, just an outlet little piece that directs the air towards where the filter is gonna sit. But this is basically how uh, everything sits more along these lines like that so as you're driving the car the air is going in here uh, making the turn and then going uh, into the air filter area which is sealed off from the rest of the engine bay for the most part um, it's not 100% sealed it's probably about 60% sealed um, so the only parts that are exposed are facing towards the front headlight of the car um, but yeah, so air is gonna go in through this inlet piece right here, which has um, a little bit of a scoop to it. Um, and then it goes through, all of these pieces just slide together. Um, and then I just have to make that outlet piece. But we're basically done. Um, so a weekend's worth of work, uh, worth of designing and kind of trial and error. It was a lot of trial and error with that inlet system, but got it to fit together and actually go inside the car. I think the next step is to clean everything up, uh, make sure all of the connections are clean and it's not gonna leak. I think I'm gonna actually go ahead and bondo this, sand everything smooth, and then we'll paint it 
um, and I'm going to paint it the same color as these intercooler pipes here, which is like a gunmetal gray. Um, I think that'll look really nice um, and keep everything pretty clean. And yeah, so finally got it done. Um, I've been working on this all day. I started at 10 in the morning. It is now 5 o'clock. I'm pretty happy that I got it done. So yeah, that is it. I'm gonna call it quits there though. Uh, so thank you guys for all of the kind words in the comments. Um, yeah, just trying to make the car cool. Take you guys along, uh, let you guys see the whole process um, and all of that stuff. So thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for all the comments and the likes on all the videos. Um, we appreciate it, and we will see you guys in the next one.